X's and O's with Leroy Butler is brought to you by Potawatomi Hotel and Casino. Hello, everyone. Welcome to X's and O's with Leroy Butler. And maybe we should call this the Flea Flicker Edition because yes. this is about what we're going to look at. So first play of the game, best place right to, after the opening kickoff, it. man, so the Lions come in and they're like, okay, run formation, two yep. tight ends, <laughs> full back. One wide receiver. Guess what we're going to do? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> really scripted. smart, smart yeah. play. Yes. All right. So uh, I think we should look at the first photo yeah. before we even go back to the board. Yeah. Because now tell me what you see up see, here. See, now, if, and I like Redmond, but he's targeted on this play because mm -hmm. you want to see how aggressive are your safeties. And it's actually, I'll be honest with you. I bet you, before the season, mm -hmm. they scripted this play for Savage because he's oh, very aggressive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. You gotta, we have something that we used to call be slow to go. Right. Because if I'm a safety, I got seven guys up there to take care of a run. Right. I can't stop that run anyway. I only can stop it if he breaks the secondary. Right. So he may be a little shallow. I would like for him to be maybe two yards deeper. Amos is shallow, too. He's yeah, on the very, top of him. I'm going to give him a little leeway because he doesn't have a receiver outside. That's true. He's got two tight yeah. ends on so that So I'm side. okay with yeah. him, but the point's well taken. Right, right. And I would rather for them being in a different stance, almost in a backpedaling stance instead of, like, lateral. Okay. Because when you're lateral, you can only go forward. To go back, you got to take an extra step. Okay. So you line up. I would tell all safeties, Tom, to always go back first. You can right. always come up. Go back first and sometimes put you in a better position because if you go running up there, you better pray that guy has that ball. Okay. So you, we, there's something you were going to say about Preston Smith. Yes, on, Preston uh, Smith is making a call to let everybody know, hey, it's short split over here. There's no receiver. Something's up. So just keep your head on the swivel. You can see his hands up, okay. just letting guys know. And I always like that because you see at the bottom, Zadarius Smith is hands in the ground yeah. instead of standing up. And you could, you could pick whichever one you want, but he can't really see what's going on because he has his hand in the dirt. Okay, so let's go back here. Okay, so the way this, this happens, it's a classic lead play yes. you know where the fullback's going to come in yep. and he's you know all these guys are going to come up right mm -hmm. and hand off and then what happens so well the action once you see this you know it's probably plastic because none of these linemen come downfield that's my first key i'm thinking oh well something's up and then the path of the wide receiver would tell me something's up, and Kenny Galladay came hard inside like hit, like that. Right. Now, backside, okay, you might bite for a minute, but you gotta redirect. Now, now Jair Alexander hustles on this play, but seeing as one receiver and nobody's off, you know, he's secondary contained if they run the ball this mm -hmm. way, he should be a little bit more width and depth. Not to say he can stop this play, this is just the coaching of it. But if I was coaching Will Redmond, I'd say back up a little bit from the start, maybe about here. Mm -hmm. Because you can recover now if there's something up. And maybe they had never seen this play before. Maybe the Packers in the training camp never run this play or whatever. You just read your keys. Because sometimes, Tom, a team is going to give me something that my coach is, is not in the game plan. Mm -hmm. You just react off of your keys. Your keys are... If these guys are blocking in here, it's a good chance it's a pass. If they fire off, they're coming getting these guys, oh, that's run. Because otherwise they can't go down if it's pass or some kind of screen. Mm -hmm. Now, Kevin King, is a, the reason he's in purple, because he's pressuring Kenny Galladay on the outside shoulder. Mm -hmm. But we got a photo to show what put him in a trail position. Okay, so let's, for, let's go Back to the oh well first we need to talk about what the action is here. Yes. So he comes through with the, they gives him the ball. Yep. And the classic flea flicker he just scoops it right back he, to Matthew Stafford. And Stafford comes back and he only got one. It's a one guy. It's a one guy route. If he's not open, then it's, you're gonna get sacked. Okay. Or they're gonna just survive the down. He can throw it away or go to his check down. Let's look at the photos then. 
So here See, we go. See, that's a clean play. Yeah. Now, yeah. let's talk about Will Redmond and B.J. Goodson there as he's getting ready to flick the ball back to Stafford. Now, Goodson should just keep coming. Because mm -hmm. you don't know if it's a flea flick or not. Keep coming, run that guy over or tackle him so the pitch won't be as clean and just continue to the quarterback. Right. You have to realize, by stopping you're basically blocking yourself. Mm -hmm. Keep coming. Just keep, you're committed. You can commit as a linebacker. Who can't commit is the person behind you. Right. The safety can't commit. We only commit when the, the results of the play is happening. So now Amos, it, he has no threat at all. Matter of fact, him or Jari Alexander. Right, because there's, there's no, no wide receiver on that and side. And the ball's not coming their way or nothing. They got to go through three guys before it gets to those two guys. Mm -hmm. But I bet you that Daryl Bevel, the new coordinator who used to be in the Seahawks, mm -hmm. these safeties are so aggressive. This play is going to be a big play. If it's not there, Matt, fine, throw it away, take it, whatever. Just yeah. don't turn the ball over. But you're going to have an opportunity. Okay, let's look at the next one. Now, that's the one where the Kevin King, his coaches will tell him, see where his head is. He's looking back at the ball, back at the, the quarterback or the play, instead of fighting to get up on Kenny Galladay's left shoulder. Mm -hmm. Stay up on that shoulder. Stay up on it as much as you can. Because now the guys who are redirecting, like Jair Alexander or Amos, it has to be a perfect throw for this guy to make it. But you're in a trail technique because just one step puts you in a trail technique. That's a big receiver, too. Yeah. So never look back for the ball. The only way you look back for the ball, if you can reach out and touch him. Okay. Then you can take a peep. Only Deion Sanders can take a peep and recover. At this recover. juncture. Okay. Right. Because he's not 100% healthy. Because, uh, you know, he's, he's playing with some injuries, growing injuries, knee. He's probably banged up. Okay. But he's playing, though. Okay, so let's... Let's go back to the board. So with him coming down, what you were yes. saying is just hold here yes. until you're sure that it's a, a run play because you've got all these guys to make the Absolutely. play. Absolutely. That's right? what we call it's, it, that's what we call, you know, slow to go. Okay. Because you got plenty of time to come up. It's just that if you back up you can always come forward. Yeah. You got plenty yeah. of time. Because if it gets to you, you're just trying to survive the down. Okay, so that now. has a breakdown up front. You reminded me, I, I don't remember it, but I looked it up and it was true. You yeah. uh, picked off Eric Kramer. Yes. The Bears. In a, a, in, a, in a Chicago game that yep. led to Robert Brooks' 99-yard touchdown. Yep. Catch. Uh, that was a flea flicker? Yes, it was. And that one was a little different, Tom. They gave it to him, and the guy was running back behind, behind the line of scrimmage. Uh -huh. Then he pitched it back to Kramer, and they had a one guy route. And I said, wait a minute. Something, if a guy has the ball, why won't you come forward? Uh -huh. So I started to get depth. And when I got depth, he never saw me. And when he threw it, I ran over and I intercepted it at the one yard line. The next play, we run a slug-o, right. a slant and go with Robert Brooks at 99 yards. Yep. It broke the Bears' back. Yeah. But I bet you they were saying all year, that guy, 36, he's so aggressive. Right. Blah, blah, blah. But what they didn't calculate, if it looks funny, it is. Okay. Because if it's a really a run, why are you behind the line of scrimmage? Why don't you just come on up? Yeah, yeah. And, and again, my coaches were like, well, how did you even read that? I said, well, I told them what I'm looking for in my film study. I mean, things has to happen for this to work, and you've got to have your safety bite, and I did not bite. I wasn't okay. hungry that Okay, <laughs> yes, yeah, so let's <laughs> finish up for, uh, with the photos. <clears throat> and there yeah. you see, I mean, Redmond is so far out of the yeah. play, and now it's Kevin Full King. disclaimer, I did not want to show this photograph. <laughs> this one? No, yeah. the next one you didn't no, want to show. That one either. Okay. Show the next one, Bill. I did not want to show that. So... Really, what happened, this is a touchdown if Jair Alexander doesn't yes. catch him. And Kenny Galladay is not the fastest guy. Jair Alexander yeah. is a 4 3 and guy. Kudos and kudos to Jair Alexander having a pretty bad game against Dallas. Yeah. Came back, held Marvin Jones Jr. to coot. Two catches, 17 yards. Right. That guy's always put up big numbers. So I appreciate 
the hustle by Jair Alexander. So if, if you're grading this, if you're a head coach, who did you give the touchdown Great question. assignment? Great question. Two. I'm going to give a half to the safety and a half, half to King. Because okay. yeah. he still has to cover this guy, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. You're the one guy that can't get fooled. Right. Now, the safety shouldn't get fooled. Right, right. But he can't get fooled because that's your guy. But if he gets fooled, it's still his guy. It's still his guy. Right, right. right. He doesn't have the guy. help inside. But right. Okay. Absolutely. He's still got a chance to break that Yes. Up. Now, these guys don't get minus. As a matter of fact, they, Jair gets a plus for stopping the touchdown because they did not score. Right, right. Held him to a field goal. Okay, hope that uh, shed some light on flea flickers. Yes. yes. And next, we're you will see it again in a few weeks. Yeah, next we're going to look at a really nicely designed play by Matt Lafleur that didn't yes. work. Yes. <laughs> but it was a nice play. Yeah, it was. Okay, so uh, this play was second and five at the 33, 10:39 in the second yeah. quarter, and really well designed play by Matt really Lafleur. And once again. They're using more motion with their wide receivers. They're starting to bring these guys. Sometimes it's a, a handoff, you yeah. know. Sometimes it's a play action. Yeah. In this case, uh, it's it, a deception to the defense because most offenses, Tom, think in our mind that oh, they're doing motion to find out if win zone yeah. or not. But sometimes it makes us shift our coverage, uh -huh. go from strong to weak, right. from weak to strong. Motion says a lot in every offense. The the interesting part to this, to me, was it did reveal that this was, man, because this guy yep. starts coming all this way. And we'll get into um, a little bit more about that. But essentially, it's just kind of a clear, yep. to just to clear open it out. something else up. Yeah. Okay, yep. so yeah. what happens as Shepard goes through and Aaron Jones, this is Aaron Jones, what, what yeah. happens with him? Now, let's go back to the Cowboy game. The okay. Cowboy game, Aaron Jones caught seven passes and they were all out here, right? Yeah, wheel all, routes. Yep, yep, all outside. So LaFleur being just a smart guy saying, you know what, we're going to go against our tendencies. We're going to offset him to the tight end side. Mm -hmm. He hadn't showed that very much. We're going to send Mercedes like on a little clear out. Right. Like that. To if they got single high, the guy should it should move him. Mm -hmm. If it's a single high. Now they were playing so I think, based on the film, they were doing something like uh, cause this guy came and ran like a half. Mm -hmm. I think this guy should have been back here yeah. playing the other half. But it got it got all messed up. So now what happens is and Aaron did a great job too, and I'll tell you about that later. And once we uh, Shepard goes in motion, show the first picture. You'll see now Shepard starts in motion, and now at this point it looks like Detroit is confused on who's going to take who. Because even the guy that has Shepard, look how deep he is. He's like at the, yeah, he's got to run the, all the way behind. Like at those the twenty-five yard line, twenty-six yard line, and he's he late should run too. right. He should run in front of the linebackers, mm -hmm. and the reason why you do that because if they hand it off you can go and make the play. If you go behind the linebackers, you're kind of blocking yourself. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So why don't you come back to the board and show us what So happens, once huh? uh, Shepard go, goes by, like I said, you know if it's a jet sweep or not, you don't know. So he comes and he swings out and he is by himself. Right. Matter of fact, these guys are gone. Yeah. Let's say they're gone. He is by himself now. Now they're His trying to read. His man redis is way, way over. trying to get over there. Really deep. Yeah. But thirty-two kind of collapses here. Forty kind of collapses here. Now, Aaron Jones runs. Oh, oh no, he's not. And he comes back right here. Now, Aaron Rodgers could have easily thrown it to Shepard. He may have scored. So I, I'm watching in the press box, and I have a yeah. great view of this, yes. and I'm like. Oh my God! Look at look at Darius Shepard by himself, and, and Rogers is holding the ball, and I'm yeah. like, throw it to him, throw yeah. it to him. He's right there, wide yeah. open, yeah. and uh, he's smarter than I am because this play was even better. What, what? Well, he well, and this shows that when people say that Aaron's doing his own thing and called no. He's bought into what Lafleur wants. This is LaFleur. an example of that. Yes, yeah, Lafleur has told him and his quarterbacks coach. Listen, let it develop. 
Now, you got to have good protection now, now, which you did. Yeah, and there have been only rushing three or four guys all, right. all game long. Yeah, so they, they have to develop. But let's we can always go here. So mm -hmm. let's make Aaron Jones a primary. And plus, we try and get him into the game. Yeah. He's already a And who's covering him? Yeah, so and they got a, a backer on him, and that's what you want. Right. And he just crosses the guy over, and Aaron makes a just a dart throw. Let's uh, let's let's look at the um, shepherd part first. So there he is. Over oh on my! The right. yeah, he's out there by himself. And I'm like, that's what I saw. And yeah. I'm like, how can you miss that guy? Give it to him, and it, he might have scored anyway. He's, yeah. All he'd have to do is beat, beat one guy. Twenty. You know, the guy who's racing hard. Yep. The guy has actually gone around Aaron Jones yep. to try to get to Shepard. And your guy, 32, is at the 20-yard line right between the hashes, way out of yeah, position. Yeah, way out of position. I, right. I'm a, I guarantee you he busted the coverage on that one. And Rodgers has just waited and waited, and there's Aaron Jones starting to And look play. at the pocket. The yeah. pocket is just unbelievable. Perfect. Yeah. And so we go to the next, and there's the ball right on. Perfect place. I mean, Perfect look how place. open he is. And that's, the, and that's the thing about it is you got to try to get Aaron Jones the ball. Last year they didn't do it very much, throw him the ball. He's a good receiver, mm -hmm. but this is the stuff on film that you don't see that he wanted back so bad. Because that would have changed the whole complexion of the game. Yes, it would have. Um, but there's the ball bouncing off his hands. But the, trust me, uh, I've dropped a few interceptions right in my hands. It's not as easy as you think, but – you made a great point about hand placement. Yeah. He should just keep running right under it and score. Yeah. Just keep running right well, under it. Well, you said yeah. stick your arms out and catch it in your chest. Yes. Maybe that would have been better. Yep, yep. I don't know. I'm okay with a guy going up with his hands. I always See, I don't that's... trust my hands. Yeah, right. Well, <laughs> so, that's why you're a defensive back. That's exactly why. Right. Yeah. But I learned from Antonio Freeman, just catch it. Just right. catch it. Yeah. And, John, Tony and he was a body catcher. Yeah, just catch it. But you also give the defensive time, defensive back time to get on you if you don't reach out. So yeah. your point is, well, you're supposed to do that for all the young men out there yeah. that plays. Well, you catch it with your hands. Yeah. You know? Yep. Just sleep with two tennis balls and make your hands yeah. catch it. Jordy Nelson so, was a good hands catcher. Exactly. You know? And so and so was, so was Sterling Sharp. Yeah. This is a great design play. Now, you can run this again if you okay. see a team run a lot of cover two on you. Yeah. But they're going to take off with the middle linebacker, and that's when you can just hit Shepard out here and take, take whatever you want. You know, somehow I bet they run some form of this, and this time they hit the guy here. Yep. Uh, but that'll be, that'll be really interesting to see what they're – what right. they work off of on this. And, 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 but and, they can't give up on him. They've got to Oh, keep no, no. They're the going to give him the ball because he got a, what he got, last thing. He has an option, too. He has an option route. He can go in and just sit down. You can throw it to him. He can go to the flat. He can run what we call a Texas play, come out mm -hmm. and cut back in. There's a lot of routes he has on this. He has to read the coverage. So it's, it's what we call H option. He can run all these routes. So Aaron has to be more patient and let him work it out. But through his, you know, and these are the kind of things people don't see on um, film that Aaron is doing well this year. Statistically, not having his best year, but he's probably having his best year because he's doing a lot of ball handling, faking yeah. and yeah. doing things. And that's been really been fooling people. So I appreciate the hard work uh, Aaron has put in. But more so than that, Matt LaFleur is on fire calling plays. Yeah, making some nice plays. Yeah, and I want to thank Potawatomi Hotel and Casino for sponsoring us, of course. Oh, and guess what? Real quick, I'm doing yeah. the honor flight this week. Oh, weekend. yeah? Yes. I'm You're going, going to, to where? D.C. with some of the vets. Oh, to the, some of the memorials. Uh, yeah, I'm memorials. very excited. Oh, good the for Bucks, you. The Brewers and the Packers are going there this weekend. I'm so excited. Can okay. I go to the airport in Milwaukee sometimes see these guys coming yeah, back from yeah, those flights. Do. And I said, maybe I want to do that one day. So I'm able to do that. So I'll okay. bring you some photos. Good for Matter you. of fact, I'll bring some photos back and have Bill show you some of them. All right. Well, thanks for joining us. And we will be back after the Raiders game with after more Okay. <laughs>